amplifier if you can see that I've got my O2 sensor out and I have my adapter in where the O2 sensor is supposed to go and I'll hook up my vacuum gauge and test the vacuum while the engine's running all right I have my uh, hose hooked up to the adapter my vacuum line hose and I have it hooked up to the gauge now I'm going to crank it up about a half a pound It's not supposed to go up that high. You hold your idle about 3,000, 2,500, 3,000, and it should stay around one, maybe two at the most. But it looks like this one's going up to three. Wow, it went up to six, and I wasn't even on the throttle that hard. So it looks like I have something going on with my muffler or my converter. All right, I cut a, a hole right in front of the converter, between the converter and the engine. And I'm gonna redo my uh, engine vacuum test and see if I get a better reading. All right, <clears throat> I'm about to crank it up after I cut a uh, hole in the exhaust in front of the converter and see what my reading is now. Alright, I got a lot better engine idle now. I'm running about a half a pound. Alright, I had about almost one pound there. So I'm pretty confident that I have a stopped up converter or muffler. So it showed me on the first test that I was running at about 6 PSI with very little rev. And since I cut the hole in front of the converter, now I'm not even going over 1 PSI with a lot higher throttle. So I'm going to replace the converter and the muffler and go from there.